Here's the deal, guys. I wanna create an app, and this app that I wanna make needs certain data to feed to it. I found another app that uses the same type of data, and I found out that the data that they use is from a private API, and what that means is that no other app can use that data. So the problem is, I can't use that data either. We're gonna change that. Companies like this that protect their APIs and make them private, in my opinion, are ruining the tech industry, and they're ruining their own companies. If you don't open source your data, you don't have free developers working on your app making it better, and you also don't have third party using your API, basically free marketing your company. So I'm gonna use their data, we're gonna go get it, and we're gonna hack the API. Don't try this at home. So this is gonna be the plan, guys. How the app works right now, the other app I was talking about, let's call this the other app. How this works is this makes the request to the private API, and what it does is it makes this request, and this private API actually sends back the data when it makes that request. Well, here's where I come in. I need to play basically a man in the middle. Yeah, that's me. I need to play the man in the middle and basically I need to see how this other app is sending these requests. I need to intercept the request, touchdown, and I need to then make my own request so I can get back my own data from this private API. So that's the plan. So I did some research on what I'm gonna use for the man in the middle and I found this really cool website that actually does exactly what I'm looking for. It is called MITMProxy. It's a free and open source interactive HTTPS proxy. Features intercept HTTP and HTTPS requested responses and modify them on the fly. And it actually does that from your terminal. Let's do it. So I actually want to modify HTTPS responses coming from an iPhone to my computer. And my computer, MITMProxy, is gonna be the man in the middle. So I found an article I wanted to read on Medium. I just saved it for later. Intercept iOS and Android networks calls using MIT proxy how it works mit M proxy sits in the middle of a connection classic man in the middle between your phone computer and the internet i'm going to go on my phone in the settings of my phone you can go to the wi-fi settings and set up an https proxy server and it's going to connect to my computer so all the data going from my iphone to my computer will be caught by mit M proxy here is the ip address that i need so i actually am going on my phone right now what you do is you go into the wi-fi network tab you can scroll all the way down and configure a proxy i go to manual and the server is actually that number you found this IP address right here on your networks tab in your system preferences actually the port is going to be MIT proxy's default port is 8080 this right here is what you're gonna type into this port all you do is hit save literally as easy as that on your iPhone launch Safari in the address bar and type mitm.it and mitm.it see what happens okay see if anything popped up in the terminal oh we're actually already getting get requests so allow iPhone so now that it is installed, it said I had to go to my profiles. So that's gonna be in general and right here. Mit M proxy, oh, okay. Install, warning, authenticity cannot be verified. Don't care. <laughs> Hopefully this works now. Okay, so basically now everything should work and I should have my man in the middle set up. I'm gonna open up the app I wanna use now. I'm getting new requests popping in. Yep, there's the app, okay. We're getting somewhere. There's literally an access token right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna search real quick a beer that I like dragon's milk white That's what I want right there So this URL right here is what my phone's client it's making to the server So it's requesting data from that URL bingo it responds back with all of this data Which is exactly what I want from their API So really the only thing left is now I just have to generate a fake API key and I can use all the data I want and hopefully nobody catches me so I was doing some thinking and I saw that there was the access token that we saw earlier in one of the requests. And I'm pretty sure that if you're not using a basic or a bearer auth token, the auth 2.0 system, that you can just keep reusing this auth token that they're giving us the access token. And we can just make as many requests as we want with the token we already have. And we don't even have to generate a new one because we don't even need to find out what their hashing algorithm is. So that's what we're gonna try. All right, so I'm on my phone. I'm gonna try trending beers and I'm just gonna click anything solid gold and I'm gonna click find it so let's see if we get that get call we scroll down okay here it is get find so we see this access token right here we're just gonna try to use this that this call made in postman and what postman is is basically just an API development tool for developers so they don't have to go and make a new code file and call instead postman will just allow us to make a call right here inside of it so we're just gonna make a new request save collection 
beer app, beer app, save to beer app. Okay, so enter the request URL. Okay, so we have this access token. This is the request URL, but actually these are all the queries that are in that. So basically all we have to do is recreate this request URL and send it in Postman. And if it works, I don't have to make another access token and we win. So I don't need all of this because it starts at dispref. All right, we're gonna go up to the latitude right here. So if I hold control, I can copy this. I'm gonna go into Postman, paste it. I'm gonna get rid of this longitude number because it's not fully done. Into the terminal, get the longitude number, bring it over here, boom, what's next? We got the mode and radius equals 10 and access underscore token equals. All right, this is the moment of truth. If this access token works, whew, here we go. We bring it back into the postman, man V, and we just send it. Oh my gosh, code 200. I can't believe that actually just worked. I can literally reuse this access token. I can't believe a huge company like this would even have something so easy to get into. This is the sickest thing ever. So what do we learn here today, guys? Well, class, let me tell you. We learned here today that you need to protect your APIs better because they're too easy to hack into. All right, that basically wraps it up for this video, guys. I got an app to make, and I'm sure you guys got something much better to do. So if you enjoyed this video, I don't really care what you do. Maybe share it with your friends, whatever, comment, like. Yeah, till next time.